This short presentation introduces you to the content of the VLC class History of English. The presentation is organized as follows. First, we will look at the content of the class and its syllabus. Then, we will provide an overview of the e-educational principles and strategies that are applied and will finally list the requirements students have to fulfill to get the class credits. Let's look at the class description first. The class is subdivided into three central parts. In order to understand the development of English, we will first look at the central principles of reconstructing and classifying languages. The second part is devoted to the discussion of the developmental phases of English and their central linguistic aspects. Since this class addresses future teachers of English, special emphasis is laid on early modern English phonology, including a detailed discussion of the great vowel shift, one of the most influential sound shifts that affected the English language. The remaining part looks at recent developments with a final focus on present-day English orthography. The whole class is organized in such a way that the online content serves as the basis for our in-class meetings where we will practice using a wealth of exercise material. If you are a remote online student, you can take part as well. Then you will get model solutions and additional online help. To realize this ambitious goal of e-teaching and e-learning, we need a special approach towards e-education. Let us look at this approach that flips the phases of content delivery and practicing. In a traditional teaching scenario, content delivery and content acquisition are realized in class where several dozens, sometimes hundreds of students have to gather at the same time to be entertained by their teacher. In a second phase, students practice on their own on the basis of additional exercise material, homework tasks, etc. We will flip or invert these two activities and apply the inverted classroom model. Content acquisition is now self-guided, takes place first and is done online. The additional in-class phase is now dedicated to practicing, rehearsing, discussion, analysis, etc. This means, prior to each in-class meeting, students must have worked through the online content of the respective unit. This approach is referred to as the inverted classroom model or the flipped mastery educational model. Now, the educational principle is pretty clear. In phase one, the phase of e-learning, you are now the autonomous learner. In phase two, where we will meet in class, classical frontal teaching is now almost out. Now the central teaching method is that of a cooperative interaction between instructor and students. The content you are given for phase one now involves all sorts of channels and is multimodal. In all our classes, we supply you with highly interactive multimedia content, the so-called virtual sessions. Recently, we have added video clips, the so-called e-lectures. They are never longer than 15 minutes and are closely connected with the virtual sessions. Furthermore, we have our workbooks. They supply you with the text material, but not with any other media and provide you with the opportunity to supplement the text with the online content. This combination of multimedia, video and text is unparalleled in the world of e-education. Now finally you want to know what you have to do in order to get the class credits, where one credit is the equivalent of about 30 hours workload. Now, for four credits, you have to actively participate in our in-class meetings. We want you to do six ungraded worksheets, 
three graded worksheets and one final exam. If you want more, you can also get six credits, but then you have to do the same thing plus a relatively complex analysis task at the end of term. This class has been taught before. And as this comment from our permanent student evaluation suggests, students are very positive about it. So see you on the VLC and in class.